What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Brutal Orchestra. I don't know if that's an S right there and this is actually like Hieronymus Bosch. Anyways, I saw the name and I'm a huge Hieronymus Bosch fan. I have loads and loads of art books. Big fan of Hieronymus Bosch, but I don't know if that's an S right there, if it's a play on words. Either way, Brutal Orchestra. This is a roguelike, a party-based roguelike. It kind of reminds me if you took, like, Lisa. I don't know if you got, like, a lot of people don't remember Lisa, but Lisa was basically, like, a very, very early, kind of very dark version of Undertale. So Lisa and Undertale, I've always felt like, are kind of, like, in the same wheelhouse with sort of the mother-like gameplay. Uh, Brutal Orchestra, it reminds me of Lisa. Uh, it's a very, very dark, turn-based roguelike RPG where you take a party of weirdos that are trapped in purgatory and you are attempting to complete a quest to get revenge on your murderer. At the beginning of this game, the main character has been murdered by somebody close to them. He's been betrayed. And so when he gets to hell, a demon shows up, or purgatory, a, a demon shows up and promises him that if he completes this quest, when his murderer arrives in purgatory, he will be the first person the murderer sees, and the demon will help him exact his revenge. So that's where we're going with this. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, you can look down below in the description. I'll have a link for you down there. It's always available. And then on top of that, you can also find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream where you're more than welcome to join me. And I tend to, like, let people know about stuff. I tend to post on Twitter, or I tend to post on Discord if there's any important information about, you know, videos being skipped or streams being canceled or moved around or whatever else, that's usually the place to be. Let's go ahead and start a new run. We've got about 25 minutes. Uh, we get to pick our characters. I only have a couple of characters, but I'm going to bring Boyle with me for right now. There's a bunch of characters that you can unlock as you play through the game. Hans is a healer. He doesn't really have... I think his name is a play on words because he doesn't have any hands, so I'm pretty sure his name is a play on words. But anyways, we've got Boyle over here. I think, yeah, Boyle sounds like a plan. Let's get, let's get Boyle. That sounds good. All right. So we get to choose where we want to go. This game uses a path system. Uh, basically, we can choose if we want to go for a chest or if we want to go to two fights. Let's go get the treasure chest. That sounds good. I like treasure. Treasure is always a nice thing to add to your collection. So we've got uh, 10 coins. Very, very nice. Uh, if you want to move on, this is the demon that is guarding the man. I think I forget the name of the character. Kovach or something like that. Anyways. Uh, the demon is guiding you, so when you're done with any of the particular tiles, you just click on this guy right here, and he'll give you a set of three new portals. I don't know what that guy is right there, but it's not in red. So let's go look. I want to find out what this guy does. Ugly. You talking to me? The fact that you assumed I was talking to you speaks volumes about your self-esteem. You gotta have confidence, man. But yeah, I was talking to you. Ugly, 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 ugly. Okay. Are you gonna, like, do anything? I guess we'll just move on then. Uh, we've got a choice in three fights. I'm gonna take the center path right here and see what's waiting for us. That's gonna take us into our first combative situation. So when it comes to fighting enemies, this game has kind of like a fantasy star style combat system where you're looking at your characters from behind the back. Uh, basically, it's all divided up into lanes. I would recommend that they darken these lines right here. For whatever reason, I have a hard time seeing these lines. I took a look inside the settings to see if maybe there was a setting to make these like darker or have like more opacity to them. But the basic way that it works is that you... All of your activities will take place to one of these squares right here. So, for example, Hans is in front of this enemy right here. So, it would be ideal if we were to swap in somebody that can actually fight, because Hans can't fight. He doesn't have any damage abilities. So, now that we've got Novak in the way, uh, he's got a couple of different abilities. He's got Attempted Parry, so deal 5 damage to the enemy opposite, and then move the enemy to the left or right. We also have Rough Takedown, that's going to deal 6 damage to the enemy. And we have Unfocused Wrath, deal 1 damage to your opposite enemy. If you are focused, deal 8 damage and lose that focus. Now, the currency that you use for all of your abilities in this game, they're called pigments. 
uh, which kind of ties into the whole Hieronymus Bosch idea. As you participate in activities and you like punch enemies and blood comes out of them, you will get like red pigments. If you use an ability that depresses the enemy and makes them cry, you'll get blue pigments from their tears. Every single turn, we generate yellow pigment. Now, if you fill up on pigment, bad things start happening, and so the game becomes kind of this gentle dance of trying to make sure that you have the pigments you need in order to do the attacks that you want to do, but at the same time, not overspending or underspending, because if you overspend, then you're not going to have any currency to cast attacks with, and if you underspend, you're going to end up with overflow, which is going to end up causing you no end of problems. Since I can take this guy down in one hit, that's what I'm going to do. It's going to cost us two yellow pigments, and we get three of those per turn, so we can just jump straight on in and take that guy out. He now explodes into a giant pile of gore, and our character has become focused, which means that he can now hit for eight damage with his other ability. Whoa, look at you. Looks like you become focused. While focused, you deal bonus damage. Taking any damage loses your focus. Enjoy it while it lasts. Okay, you'll also notice little pips on the sides of these characters. Every character can move, and every single character can do an active attack or like ability each turn uh, so he's been fully tapped out he's been moved and he's attacked an enemy however with boil we can still do something over here so we've got a waning jumble guts it looks like he's just going to attack so i'm kind of like remiss to jump into bed with him and fight him let's see here one damage to opposing enemy rib cracker and then we've got cowardly entrenched i could probably do cowardly entrenched let's do that So he got armor and he dealt three damage and we got some free pigment. Careful, that enemy's health isn't red, so you're gonna be getting different colors of pigment from them. Make sure that you're leaving yourself with the kinds of pigment you need. Smart. Adding some shield could protect you from damage. Unfortunately, your shield doesn't move with you. Also, at the end of every turn, shield gets cut in half. I don't make the rules. Oh, moved over to a different spot. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, well, he's still got an ability. Do you have anything that'll like hit the guy next to you? I could put Frail on somebody, but that's gonna cost three blue and we don't have three blue. So I'm just gonna end the turn. So he did a petroleum blast, but it didn't hit anybody because it was in the wrong spot. Uh, I need, I need Novak to come over here and then we are going to have him use his focus to deal eight damage. Oh, we need special pigments for it, so these pigments won't work. You can, so if your ability requires like red pigment, for example, but you only have yellow, you can use pigment that does not match the ability, but it's gonna cost you. You deal damage to yourself for every pigment that doesn't match the color that you want down here. And so that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, let's just go ahead and pop this fool. That's what I'm gonna do. Eight damage, I'll take it. And that gave us a little bit more pigment and the man is dead. I don't know exactly what Transfusion just did right there, but hey, we won the fight and we got three Perga coins, okay? Uh, after the fight, their skeletons are gonna be laying on the ground. This game does for, so for a game that's got kind of like, for a game that's got old JRPG mechanics, they do have a lot of really, really neat sort of graphical enhancements and sort of little details, like after you finish a fight, the skeletons of everything you killed are laying in front of you. Stuff like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and move forward. We can go to a treasure chest. I'm definitely going to take the treasure chest. That sounds like a plan, man. Let's go get some treasure. Uh, you have obtained the iron helmet. Apply 100 shield to this party member's position at the beginning of combat. That does sound pretty cool. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put the iron helmet on him. Sounds nice. So he now has the iron helmet. Uh, there are also level up systems, so you can spend money to make your characters, like, better. And it'll upgrade their abilities and make them stronger. It's up to you if you want to do that or not, or if you just want to sit on your coins, or you want to spend them at shops, or however you want to use them. But your XP in this game is, in effect, money. Uh, we could go talk to this guy again. He called me ugly last time. I want to see if he's got any new insults lined up. Hello. Howdy. Um, what is that thing? Well, it's, uh, I'm on a level with you. I have actually no idea what she is, but those horrible fish folks seem to be really, really afraid of her. So I've been staying tucked real close. Real close. 
Is that safe? I've got no idea. But, uh, you know, she speaks sometimes. Really? What about? Ah, food mostly. Corpses the like. Well, one time I swear she said I love you, but that may have just been wishful thinking. Marcus has a strange look of sadness in his eyes. Before you ask, there is no way that this guy is going to be allowed to join the party. Hunger. Crave. Starve. Oh, there she goes again. Tell you what. If you kill some of the fish guys, or anything, really, I'll drag the bodies back and feed them to Pearl here. Pearl? That's what I named her. I think it's a feminine and empowering name. Well, go kill a bunch of things, and I'll gather them up and feed them to Pearl. All right. Sounds like a plan to me. There's another character over here. Who's this guy? I want to meet people. What are you going to do, stab me? God, even my last words were rubbish. What a waste I turned out to be. Go away. I'm not in the mood. I'm wondering if these characters are actually going to activate once you get further on into, like, the roguelike progression. Um, that's a big guy right there. Let's go fight the big guy, dude. I want to take on, like, a big chal- Oh, he's got little homies with him. Uh-oh. He's got, like, embryonics. Whoa, that thing is huge. Some of these creatures are way bigger than I expected. Keep an eye out for monsters that take up two or even more spaces. Maybe if you line it up right, you could hit them more than once. Okay. Well, he's got 100 armor, but unfortunately, it's not really going to be that large of a help. I'm going to move over to here. The armor will stay on that tile. But with no vatch, let's go ahead and we'll do a rough takedown over here. Six damage is good. Apparently, he's a flarb. Uh, he actually moved himself after I hit him due to his slippery modifier, which means that I can hit him again. Now, we've got Rib Cracker, which deals a bit of damage. However, we're missing one of the pigments, so we would have to go in and use a yellow, which would then damage our character. I'm going to do it because I like to live life on the edge. Cowardly. and Actually, no, nah, we'll just do Okay, that's fine. A little bit more red pigment. He took one damage because we swapped out one of the pigments. Uh, this little guy over here can do a slap. Unfortunately, not really going to be that helpful. I'm going to drag him over to the middle because he's got an AoE heal that hit things to the sides of him. And so I kind of want him to be in the middle so that I can shift him around with other people's movements and always have him like in a good tactical position. Oh, he ate my pigments in order to give himself shield. Okay. Good to know. Let's keep damage going out on this guy, I guess. Like, if he's going to keep shielding and whatnot, it's going to become kind of a headache. I'm going to have you swap over to here. And then in your case, we'll go for a Cowardly Entrenched. Perfect. A little bit more red pigment, so I'll take that. Uh, we don't have any blue pigment, so unfortunately there's not much that we can do here. You can, however, slap the guy in front of you, and so I guess that's a little disrespectful, but, like, sometimes you gotta slap a guy. It is what it is. On the plus side, we did... Aw, oh, dude, he ate them all again. Stop. Okay, so if you would just stop eating all my pigments, that would be fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and perform the ability right here to finish him off. Oh no, he's not getting finished off. He's decided that he's going to stay live. Okay. Move over to here. I do have a blue pigment. I don't know if the purple pigments fill in for this. How much does it heal for? Heal this party member and left ally for four health. Hmm. I'm going to wait a minute. I would like to finish this guy. Unfortunately, they're not making it super easy. I'm just going to take the damage. That big guy's becoming like a rapid liability, so I feel like as long as he goes, we're in good shape. Okay. These guys have both moved and done their thing. We do have one blue pigment, but it's not going to be enough. 
Okay, one tiny little bit of damage right there. I can live with it, though. Let's move over to here. He's got 6 HP left, which makes him an easy target for a brutal takedown. Okay, he's now focused, which means he hits for 8. So, outstanding anything else going wrong next turn, we should be able to jump over there and take that guy out. And we only have the one blue pigment for right now, which is kind of a bummer. They are giving me yellow pigment, which is somewhat nice, but I think I'm just going to space it out and go slow. All right, sir. Step on into the Thunderdome, and let's go ahead and give him the solid hit. Okay, we got paid a whole bunch for that fight, so I'll definitely take it. Uh, let's continue forward. We've got a purple area with a giant snuffleupagus looking thing. Let's go see what's up with him, man. This is a weird ass game. Oh, it's two guys with flamethrowers. Okay. Not in love with my current predicament. I do feel like things could be going better right now. Like, I don't know if they're gonna, like, do anything. Yeah, go ahead and get a little block moving, I guess. Oh, he's slippery, so he moves around on you. That guy's skittish, and he's got multi-attack. These are all functionally bad things. I mean, I could drag him over here and do a slap, but I just don't see it being altogether that effective. Okay, we've been covered in oil. Gross. You're all coated in oil. When smacked, you will slide around, but stay away from fire. Seriously, please, stay away from fire. Okay. I suppose staying away from fire is like reasonably predictable. Fire! Careful around fire! If you're on fire, move away. It won't move with you. If you keep performing abilities in the fire, you're gonna put it out faster. In simple terms, fire ouchy, fire hot. Okay. Well, fire ouchy, fire hot indeed. Go ahead and put some damage on him and start stacking some shield on that spot. I'm going to have to go all in on this and heal Nova. I get the feeling this is maybe like a boss fight or something. Okay, there's a little bit of healing. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but he's pretty much like out of the fight anyways, so... Yeah, he's kind of... Out of abilities anyways. A bash has gone out to boil, but shield absorbed it. Oil is all over us once again. We have now been lit on fire with his multi-attack. He's moving around a lot. I don't know how we're going to keep track of this guy. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, if we could just, like, move him around a little bit. The entire map is on fire right now, though. This is a problem. I guess I'll just chill in the fire. I don't want to, but, like, I feel like we've got to keep some kind of damage flowing outwards on the enemy. Otherwise, we're just flatly not going to make it. Uh, Boyle, I'm okay with you just kind of hanging tight over here on this side. Ooh, 18 damage. Come on, did you have to go and die? Gurgling pain noise. Well, I'm not going to let you just die. If you have any buddies left who can win this fight, I'll bring you back. But don't expect to be in tip-top. And I'm not going to bother bringing you back at all if everybody else dies too. Uh 
Oh, he like heals up. Okay. That's worrisome and non-ideal. All right, so what we learned is that this, this is some kind of like mini boss fight and we just got torched. I knew I probably had to focus somebody down between the two of them, but I wasn't quite sure who it was. Now I know it's probably the gas can guy. Like, he's probably the one that needs to go first. In another universe, you would have won that fight. Let's try this again. All right. Oh, I unlocked something. Hold on. What did I unlock? Did I unlock something cool? Meh. You did your best. I mean, I can't say that while recording this video, I actually truly did my best. But, like, you know. If you're going to say I tried my best, I'm just going to go along with it. What's this little blue guy over here? Let's go talk to him. He looks adorable. Well, I thought he looked adorable, but he's got exposed nipples, so now I'm not quite so sure. Whoa. What is that thing? Um, Go on. Make friends with the freak. Hi. Hello. Goodbye. What? I will skin you alive. Are you looking for allies? Are you threatening me? No, but I think my other half is. Of course I am, you babbling fool. I don't understand. Go away before I fracture the rest of your skull. I'd be happy to accompany you if you like. Um, don't look at me. I don't understand this being any better than you. You can come with us? Great, let's go. I demand blood. You demand blood. Oh, am I demanding blood again? Blood, blood, blood! What the hell? Just come back to me after you've already gotten someone killed. It doesn't matter who. Blood. Experience a loss worthy of our presence. I want to come with you, but I don't have the final say in this matter. Come back later. I mean, people died. Okay, well, maybe it's not retroactive. Fair and Ooh, money. Oh, it's a shop. I thought maybe it'd give me free coins. Like, I saw, I don't have no coins right now, so I don't have anything to spend. Oh, look at that thing. It's adorable. Look at that thing. It's super cute. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. Oh, it's got like a wiener that comes out of its back. Okay, it's not cute anymore. It was cute. Now it's not cute anymore. So these two are both going to attack. These ones are going to defend. So I need you over here. I need you over here so that both their attacks go bad. And then you're going to smack him for six damage. Looks good. And then in your case, go ahead and just slap, I guess. I'd like to save up some red pigments so that I can actually do his big attacks later on. Okay, so both of the chomps have missed. He just did a gulp, so he ate a pigment and gave himself defense. He has also eaten one of my pigments and given himself defense. Uh, these guys up here, who's attacking? So you two are attacking. That means I'm coming over to here so that I do not get attacked. We'll go ahead and put some damage on you. Normally, I don't like to spread my damage around, but in this case, it seems kind of unavoidable. Uh, eight damage right there for those pigments. Hell yeah. Go get him, chief. Oh, he turned into like a little fish monster thing. Okay. So they're both attacking and you're just going to eat a pigment? Okay, that's fine. I guess I could have slapped right there, but I'm all out of yellow, so he would have took damage. Okay, so who's attacking here? You two are attacking means I would prefer that you be over here. He's got one shield, but it shouldn't matter. There we go. Another one bites the dust. And we've got enough pigment now to one-shot this dude. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better result. Now we're looking solid. Uh, you can't really do anything. And, like, I don't mean that, like, in a mean way. Like, I'm not saying you're useless. But I am saying that I don't have anything for you to do right now. And so that you should expect reassignment at some point. So whoever goes up against these guys is going to get smacked.
Actually, I think I can kill him. Our pigments are getting kind of full right now. It's starting to worry me. I don't like enjoy how many pigments I have rattling around that I can't seem to do anything with. Apparently we can put frail on somebody if we wanted to step in front of this guy and get hit. I could also do some healing. I guess I'll use this just to burn pigment so that we don't overflow. Like there's nothing stopping me from attacking an empty space just to burn down the pigments. Okay. Over here. Smack this guy. Use the bloot to go ahead and finish him off. Perfect. All right, so we shouldn't have too much else going on right now. We should be able to just wait for this thing to be over. Oh, he can actually deal damage. I actually had no idea that had a damaging attack. I thought he was gonna be like a magic carp. I thought he was just gonna like roll around on the ground, but corp, corp, like I thought, you know, that's what I get for thinking, I guess. What kind of treasure did we get? We got four dollars. Okay. Onwards we go, I suppose. Does this guy want to meet me again now? I just want new party members. I feel like we could really do well with some more, like, you know, fortified lines with people capable of attacking. What are you going to do? Stab me? Apparently he's still not in the mood. There's a treasure chest over here, though. I'ma get it. Let me get your cube of goodies. Six coins. Nice. Maybe I'll rank somebody up. Let's do that. Let's make Novak a little bit stronger. So he's now got 20 H, or he's got 16 HP now, and he parries confidently. He had he takedowns brutally, and then he's got writhing wrath. Okay. Sounds good. Mm, definitely not going there. We already tried that, and it went horribly for us. That's a downright awful plan. I love how animated the little avatars and sprites are. They look so good. Like, whoever did the art style for this game really knocked it out of the park in, like, the kind of strange, gross, Ren and Stimpy freak world thing that they've got going on. Also seems very Binding of Isaac inspired in its own way. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll smack this guy right here. What does that mean? Like, what is that? Vomits and produces three pigment of his health color. So I get three red. That's actually pretty dope. I'll take that. You did. And he didn't put a fish out. That's nice. I'm going to move over to here. Honestly, I don't think you're hurting me in the way that you think you're hurting me. Uh, you basically just enabled me to use my super ability. So thank you for the vomit. I appreciate it. Sweet. All right, let's keep trucking. We've got a gold chest over here. Definitely going to take that. Upon receiving any type of damage, there's a 50% chance of producing 3% or 3 coins. A 2% chance to be destroyed upon activation. Wait, the colon coins? Ew, dude, they're coins that are covered in poo. Don't like that. I guess we'll just put it on him. He tends to get hit the most since he's got shields he can put down and stuff. Uh, that appears to be some kind of weird snake amiibo with boobies, so I have... No clue what we're walking into here. But I've been known to give it my all, therefore I shall. All right, so these guys are both going to attack. That one's not going to hit anybody, though, so, like, who cares? Perfect. One turn OTK. Uh, what is your plan? Like, what are you... Randomizes all stored pigment, applies one shield to all enemies. Okay. Don't love it. Don't hate it. 
going to move you over to here just in case in the off chance we get one more blue pigment. That way I can heal Novak. Or Novak, or however you say his name. Hmm, she moved. Let's go ahead and wipe out this guy next, I guess. Probably a decent place to start. Okay, another enemy bites the dust. Yeah, this is the case of a game that's got like a really slick art style. So they're capitalizing on kind of the old SNES Earthbound type gameplay. But at the same time, they've gone the extra mile to actually create battlefields and like movement in between fights that have parallax going on. Like the animations are actually really, really good and very stylized. I actually think they've done a good job with it, and normally I'm not a huge fan of sort of JRPG-style turn-based combat systems, uh, but honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. Brutal Orchestra. I've been told that it takes like four or five hours to beat the game, but it's got like a whole separate game. So this game is kind of going off in like the Undertale or like Lisa direction, where it's got like multiple endings, it's got like lots of things going on, there's like a secret new game plus after you complete it that further fills in the storyline. Uh, basically somebody posted on the Steam forums like, hey I beat the game really really fast, is that all there is to do? And the developer looked at their achievements and was like, you definitely need to play more. There's a lot of stuff that you missed, there's a lot of things that unlock, there's a lot of things that like fill out the storyline, keep going. And the guy was like, okay, so anyways. Apparently there's a lot of hidden secret stuff inside this game for you to dig out as well. But this is Brutal Orchestra. I'm a fan of it. I think the game is really, really cool, actually. From the visual design to the just about everything. The way the characters talk to each other is very humorous. Um, I like the little sprites tremendously. Like, I really like these little enemies and whatnot. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today it was Brutal Orchestra. Tomorrow it'll be something else. Take care, everybody, and that's all I got for you.